What's going on everybody and in this video I'm going to show you a quick easy tutorial on how to live stream on Twitch and that's coming up right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go download the OBS Studio uh, app on their website and then you're going to want to download it for Windows or Mac. I'm going to post down the link in the description below so you guys know exactly where to get it. So once you have it downloaded then we're going to go ahead and go into OBS and then you're going to want to hit the plus button right here on the scenes and then you're going to create a new scene so just create a new scene i already did that for us and then we're going to go into our sources so right here in our sources is where we're going to start adding our our stuff but before we start adding stuff in the sources we're going to make sure that our microphone is working so what you're going to want to do is uh go to settings okay and then you're going to go into audio and then you're going to go to where it says mic auxiliary audio you're going to click there and you're going to click on the microphone that you're using. So I'm using the Elgato Wave 3. So I just clicked on that. And you're going to hit apply and then OK. So then the way for you to know that your microphone is working is you can tell that it has the green bar, right? And then you really want to keep it mostly in the yellow area. You don't ever want it to go over it because all it's going to do is just peak and it's going to sound really bad. So once we have the microphone that's working, everything's going good. The next thing we're going to want to do is add our webcam. So then once you add your webcam, you're going to want it to go into video capture device. And then right here, you're going to put webcam. And then you're going to put in the webcam they use. So there's the webcam that I'm currently using, right? And then it's going to show up right here. Okay. You're going to bring it down. Put it wherever you want quick tip if you hold down the alt button and then you grab right here in the corners you can crop out the webcam so you can make it smaller you can make it however you want and uh we'll keep it right there for now all right so once we're done with uh putting our webcam and we have our microphone set up we're gonna want to put alerts so then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go into well the alerts that I use, I use stream elements. Uh, they're, it's pretty simple once you get uh, used to it. Um, so pretty much you just go ahead and just to start off, you can use the basic alerts that they use. They're actually pretty good. So let's go into stream elements and then you're going to want to hit new overlay and it's just going to show up the same one. So right now I'm using my YouTube alerts, even though we're doing Twitch, it's going to be the exact same thing. So then once you hit that new alert, uh, then you're gonna had you're gonna put in the plus sign here, and then you're gonna hit alerts, alert box, and then this is what's gonna show up for you. So right here, it's gonna just to give you an example. I'm gonna just delete this one, and then we'll hit alerts, alert box, and then right then and there, it's gonna give you different options of what they do. So because it's YouTube, it's gonna give me an, a subscriber uh, alert, a member alert, super chat. But if we're using Twitch, it's gonna give you. You know your bits alert your follower alert um all those different types of alerts for twitch so it's the exact same thing now what you're going to want to do is once you have it set up how you want it because you can click on settings and and change how you want it you can even set an image uh for your alert but that's it you know that goes really into detail but just to keep it just how it is let's give you an example so let's say i get a new subscriber that's what's going to show up right there. Okay. So then we like that. That looks awesome. We're going to hit save. We're going to hit save. And then we're going to go here to copy URL. Okay. So once you copy that, you're going to go down here into your sources. You're going to hit add and then you're going to hit browser because it's a browser browser source. And then we're just going to hit alerts. So that shows up. We're going to delete this and then we're going to paste the alerts from stream elements. So now we have our alerts here on the left. So let's quick uh, do a quick, quick example. So we're just going to emulate subscriber. And there you go. You have your subscribers alert right there. And then you can move this around. Same thing. Crop it. Do whatever you want. So we have our webcam. We have our microphone and we have our alerts. So the next thing you want to do is go into your settings. And then once you're in settings, then you're going to go into stream. 
you're gonna hit twitch and then so right here you can um put different options so if you want to connect to your twitch account you can log in and it'll uh it'll connect for you just fine or you can log into your twitch you can log into your twitch you're gonna go to in right here go to account settings then hit stream and then you can copy your stream key now once you copy your stream key it's very private so make sure not to give it to anybody and then once you copy your stream key then you can instead of choosing connect um connect account you can just put in your stream key paste it apply and then hit okay so then once we're done with that one more thing is in settings you're gonna want to go to your output and then an output you're gonna want to uh, put nvidia nvenc that's gonna be the best thing for your streaming so what's gonna do is gonna work your computer to maximum uh potential for your stream then you're gonna put in your uh scale output and then uh your bit rate 6000 i mean this is pretty much the um basic entry uh settings that you're gonna want to put for your for your stream so you pretty much just leave it like that quality high and then hit apply and then okay and then that's pretty much it when it comes to streaming on twitch but if you want to stream on youtube then it's a whole different ball game definitely look up my next video about how to stream on youtube for the very first time where it does take a couple of more steps than what we did on twitch so if you guys want to check that out, you'll see the video right here at the end and I'll see you guys on the next video.